Hello, this is Derpat, and I'm here to give you a guide on how to set the font in Terraria to whatever font you want. The reason I'm making this guide is because, surprisingly enough, there are no other guides that teach you how to do this. Your only best bet is to go onto the Terraria forums, and there's two posts that help you, like, create them. Rather, well, there's only one post, but... Whatever! So, why don't we begin? Step one is you want to go into this link that I have linked in the description and comments of this video, and download this file. After you've downloaded it, it should be in your downloads folder, obviously, but it's going to be a .7z file. In order to open it, you need to download something like WinRAR. After you do that, you'll double-click the file and then open it with WinRAR, and then you want to hover over all of these, right-click, and hit Extract to Specify Folder. Now, I've already done this, I don't need to repeat myself, because all I did was change the font to Bombardier. Afterwards, you want to after you extract, you want to make a dynamic font file. These ones give a general description, but I will just like tell you what they do in simple terms. This one is the font name. It has to do it off of a font that you have downloaded on your computer. This is the float value, which causes the size. Please note that it is very possible to make this make this so big and so small that you'll start laughing so you're gonna have to do some trial and error to get the correct uh, size spacing is well the space between pixels of the characters the characters being text use kerning I have no idea what the fuck it does it says controls layout of the font but I didn't change it and I recommend you don't change it either and then there's this one, which is bold, italic, or regular style. I chose regular for mine. Now, bold and italic are case sensitive, as it states here. We want default character. I don't recommend you change this one. I also don't recommend you change default font ascent. And then there's character regions. The main one that can cause it to fail if you sort of just did only this. Only, like, name thing change as you will also have to change the font on these ones to match this one. So like this one would also be Bombardier, this one would also be Bombardier, uh, this one would also be Bombardier, this one would also be Bombardier, that's at least what I did. And then after you do that, you have to use Notepad++. After you do that, and here's what I did here, You want to run... That's for later, shit. You want to run this exe with the file inside the folder. It will then create this x and b file after a certain amount of time. And then you will want to put this in your .pack folder with the folder name of fonts. If you want to learn how to make a .pack folder, a link will also be in the description and comments that will teach you how to make a .pack folder. As it's better they explain it rather than a bumbling dumbass who run who rushed this shit because of the fact that there's no other videos on it. You're going to want 3 uh, five copies of the .xmb file so you can name it combat crit, combat text, depth text, item stack, and mouse text. Combat crit, combat text, and item stack are self-explanatory. Death text is what's used in the death uh, screen, as well as what's used in the main menu. And mouse text is the UI text. So like, your like character select screen, world select screen, all that jazz. Anything UI related goes to mouse text. Now, you can all have you can have them all one font size, but I recommend that you do multiple font sizes, meaning you'll have to make multiple files. That's what I did for mouse text, and then I just like copy pasted like a different one for the rest of them. This is to make sure that it's everything's okay and everything fits correctly and isn't just a <laughs> font vomit. 
Trust me, you're gonna have to do some trial and error to get it just right. And <laughs> you'll probably laugh at it failing. Like I did. And now after you do that... Now after you do that, um, that video that I said I would list for how to make a dot pack... How to make a dot... Uh, a pack dot json file will also explain how you open the resource packs folder, so I don't need to tell you how to do that. You want, and after you put it in the resource pack folder with everything included, you want to boot up Terraria. Rather, reboot Terraria if you still have it open. And then you want to enable the pack, which is easy enough to do after you put it in. And then, of course, as you see, I already have it enabled, so it's changed all of this. And then if we go in-game, and then use my character and the world that I used for the uh, intro, called the Dreamland Sanctuary. I recommend you check this out. I haven't started an expert playthrough on this yet. It's kind of cringe that it is inexpert, but I could probably edit that with T-Edit. And then... As you can see, the life bars in the life bar is the font, the mana bar is the font, all this is the font. And then of course the UI up here is the font. This has been Derpat's shitty tutorial on how to make your own custom fonts in Terraria. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this font tutorial actually helped you. You can subscribe if you want. All I do is gameplay videos nowadays. Hey you. Yeah, you. You probably saw the title and was like... You probably looked up on Google to see how you could make your own custom fonts in Terraria. Or well, set a font... The, 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 who the fuck? Douglas. Really? Hello! This is Derpat. I have not done guides in a while, but... I feel like I needed to make this since there's no other tutorials on, uh, making your, uh, the, 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 fucking damn it, I, this is what happens when I don't have a script! Hello, this is Derpat, and, I forgot what I was doing.